Good morning. It's Saturday and I'm back to the lake. <laughs> it's Jonathan Herman. This is my channel. Appreciate y'all guys tuning in. Uh, just a little bit of information. Uh, the last few fishing uh, trips I've had, I'm, I'm going to put all these fishing trips together on one video. Uh, I went yesterday, Friday, which was the 10th, and I'll go ahead and tell you that you know, the lake's on fire, just like them other guys have been telling me. That's the first I've went to Norman this year, and uh, them guys been catching some toads. I mean, some, some nice ones, 18 and 20 inches. Uh, the leader, I think he's got 93 inches on the board right now. And I think the first day he went out was March 1st, and I think he had 90 inches then. So uh, it's just you know, one of them things you get there when they're biting, but from what I've been told, not what I've seen uh, from yesterday, you know, it's. The, the spots are just tearing it up just as much as you can throw out there and give to them that they're going to hit it and mostly yesterday was on the shaky head that's all I threw uh, first two casts I had a 16 inch you'll see it on that one video short video I, I turned that thing loose and uh, didn't even take a picture of it and that's just, that's, that's pretty sickening because I threw 16 inches away because I'm still trying to get my limit uh, I've got four fish right now, right now on the board. I'm gonna get turned here, but uh, if I can get my fifth fish, I'll have my limit, and then I can start culling fish. I, the smallest one I've got is a ten and a half. And I'm if I catch a fish today, I'm sure I'm gonna knock it off. I hope, or well, well if I catch two. I'm pretty sure I'll knock that ten and a half off and, and get on up the board. I was, I think I was 12th, and now I'm 11th now from yesterday. Uh, yesterday I lost over seven fish on the shaky head. I don't know if it was the hook or if I just wasn't trying to break my rod enough or what, but I thought I was making a good hook set. But I mean, I was putting the back into the best you can. I can the kayak. I mean it. It's a little bit different in the boat. You can sort of rear back and just give it all you got in the kayak. You rear back too much, you're going to end up in the water. <laughs> it's swimming. But at least in mine, you will. Maybe other guys got a little bit bigger kayak than what I've got. But uh, we'll see what happens today. Hopefully, I can get a couple in the boat and don't lose none. I, uh, yesterday was, was, you know, phenomenal for me. To, to get that many bites in a day and uh but i've never lost that many fish in a day you know usually you, you break off or something like that but from just to come off the hook and uh that's just it's hard for me you know to, not to accept but you know hard for me to deal with you know being in a tournament trying to get you limit and you're losing all them fish then you throw one away at 16 inches you know that's 16 inches i could add on the board but with what i've got but i you know, just wasn't paying attention when i was doing a lot of times you know you you know I, I, sometimes i try to put something you know give you some you know and looking at it in a godly way i guess a christian way uh you get caught up in what you're doing and one thing and you sort of forget what you're supposed to be doing all together. You know, and that's, that's sometimes as Christians, that's what we do. We, we get caught up in one thing, whatever it might be. It might be just you know, prayer, which is a good thing, or visitation, that's a good thing. But it all works together. You know, and, and if you get caught up in one thing and you start slipping on, on another thing, you know, you, you know, sometimes it hurts you. You know, it's just like I got caught up in trying to, get a video of that fish and I forgot that actually I was needing to take a picture of it to get it on the board so you know it all fits all in one it all works together and uh, that's the way it works out in life the way it works out with your relationship with God 
and things you do in life, you know, things you got to do and keep it all together. But guys, stay tuned. I'll I'll try to get back with you on the water if I start catching some fish. If I don't, I'll come back and end it. And I'll put all these videos together, and uh, they'll be a little bit. You know, just short videos of me catching, you know, not catching, but uh, releasing some fish, maybe some pictures of some fish that I caught. Uh, I will tell you this, the YouTube channel's changed, and I've changed changed the name on it. It was just Jonathan Herman. Now, it, right now, you probably look at it now, if any of y'all look, it's got, it's Country Creek Outdoors. But my name is still attached to it, you know, but hopefully everybody can get to it a little bit better put it out there to everybody if you want to look at this type of videos it's sort of raw like i told y'all it's just blue collar fishing but uh it's country creek outdoors they only gotta do is type that in they come you know, see all my videos that i've got but uh and i am getting a uh gopro i'll be purchasing it today and probably be playing with it for a few times and see what happens with it. So that'll be my last purchase for this for a while. But uh, we'll get with y'all on the lake. I'm trying to get in here and see what I can do, get on here to these ramps. These other guys is putting me in. I want to get out of their way. I don't want to be in their way when they go in. But I appreciate y'all guys watching, and I'll talk to y'all later. Well, guys, that's that's probably going to end it. Uh, like I said, if I didn't do anything good on road this, which it didn't, uh, I think I got one little old tug on that uh, plug I had, and that was it never got hooked up. I act like I didn't want it, I guess, but uh, water pulled way down on road this. Looks like it's at least ten foot low still. Uh, they let it come up a couple of weeks ago, and I. That's when I did pretty good. I caught those three, but they pulled the water way down now. It's some of the places I fished last week, the week before, really. Is, is, it's just dry land now. I don't know why they got it pulled so far down, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you know, I guess they know what they're doing. Hopefully, they'll let it get full pond before too long. These fish are you know, going to spawn uh, in the next probably two or three weeks some people say they're spawning i don't i don't think they are well, the water temperature is not the right temperature right now it's still in the 50s on the surface that's what i'm getting on my depth finders like 53 it's 57 on norman so the water temperature is, is going to be a little bit cooler on deeper so I don't think they're really spawning right now. They may be on Norman, but they're not on road here. It's not, you know, they, I, they may be up on a pre-spawn on the flats and stuff, but I'm just not seeing the bite like what you'd think. Unless it's done happen, I missed it. So I don't know. But uh, we'll see what happens when the water gets a little bit you know, back up to full pond. Uh, cousin Mike, he's out there fishing now. And he said he got a decent bite on a, a jig. I think he's throwing a, a blue jig, some type of blue jig I seen him throwing. And uh, a Ned rig. So he caught a little bluegill on a Ned rig. But he's going to fish, I think he said he's going to fish till dark. But I'm not fishing that lake as you can see i'm back home but uh i'll be back at it again next friday like i say i'll i'll put all these videos the last couple weeks probably probably two weeks at least i haven't put anything up it may not be that long but anyway i got several short videos just a couple you know some fish i caught this uh this past weekend and the weekend before i think but uh currently right now i think i hadn't looked but this morning i looked i was 11th i think 
and I was 12 in the tournament. And there's 18 in it. But I was like I said earlier, I was wanting to try to want to try to move up the board some yesterday uh, at Norman, and I, I probably could have it a little bit if I could have got all the fish boated. <clears throat> I thought they all felt pretty good fish, but uh, that is what it is. It's fishing, and it's it's fun. I had fun yesterday, but uh, just needed to get them in the kayak next time. Uh, next week, probably down to Long Island. On Norman, that's what I plan on doing. And then uh, the 18th, I'll be fishing more than likely that tournament. We got a, a trail tournament, I think is what they call it. They do it once a month, and each time it's a different lake. And this this uh, this month, it's on Norman. So I went down Stumpy Creek, and I found them there so i don't know what they'll be doing next week i'm gonna go to uh long island like i said and i'll try to see if i can catch some there and if i can catch them there i'll make a decision which lake i'll fish for the tournament or not which lake uh which ramp to go to what part of norman to go to I like Stumpy Creek. I've only fished, I fished it. It's the first time I fished it last week or this week. Uh, and I like Long Island too. I've fished, I've, I've fished Long Island for a long time. Jug fished it and cat, you no know, cat fishing it and, and bass fished it. I, I know it pretty well. But, uh, you got to learn different parts of the lake if you're going to catch them. They ain't all going to be in one spot. But, guys, appreciate you watching. And uh, I'm going to get cleaned up. And I'm going to go get the GoPro. Go purchase it. Get it set up. I got a cart coming in. I won't be putting the full, my kayak on that trailer no more. I have to haul it around on that trailer. I'll put it on the cart. That way I can just cart it down to the boat ramp. So I'm getting there as far as things that I think I need to be successful in this, you know, the tournaments and stuff and be competitive. So, and plus put some stuff out for, on YouTube and uh, make it decent where you can look at it, watch it, enjoy it. But guys, appreciate you watching again, and y'all subscribe if you want to, and share the videos. I didn't have anything today, just a lot of talking what, what's, what's coming up, but hopefully uh, we'll get some some fish in the kayak in these tournaments and stuff. But uh, until then, I'm heading to the house to get cleaned up, going to town. Y'all guys, be safe. See you next time. All right, guys, looks like I'm heading back to Road Hills again. I chose not to go to Norman. I ain't going to be able to fish all day. Uh, got some things I got to do. But uh, we're going to head back out there. I'm going to hit my honey hole, I guess you'd say. I don't think I can catch any fish. Might try another little spot up a creek. But it rained pretty hard. Last night, I'm a, it's probably going to be muddy. I don't know. It's, uh, may not catch a fish. I don't know. I hope, I hope to catch at least one. That'll have me four, and I you know, won't be pressing too much to uh, on the catch-up part, I guess you'd say. Uh, I'm still way behind the leader, way behind... Uh, second and third place but this has been my first year I don't expect to, to do a whole lot I'm just trying to figure these fish out I've never fished uh, this early in the year bass fishing 
most of what I've been used to doing was was crappy fishing and bass fishing just it's just a little bit different you gotta you gotta find them I guess you'd say like you do the crappy but the crappy one of you they're gonna be on brush piles most of the time right now so they're not as hard to find bass they're I guess you'd say they're fickle they'll be one place one week next week depending on the weather there'll be another place it'll be here on points or they'll be on flats or they'll be suspended you know crappy they'll do the same in, in a sense but bass are just more more I don't want to say aggressive they're just more uh, elusive is the word I'm going to say it's about like deer hunting you know they're there you just gotta find them guys stick with me and uh hopefully i can get one or two more in the boat and uh or the kayak i said boat of you didn't i but anyway we'll get one or two in the on the catch board on the board we'll, we'll see, say that but anyway it's it's fun it's gonna be pretty today high blue sky there ain't no wind right now but that's here on around the house you get out there on the lake and it's gonna be a little bit different but guys hang in there stick with me i'll see y'all guys on the lake well guys uh i guess you've seen i'm talking now and you ain't seen no water pictures or pictures of fish on this second day so i'm going to wait and tell you this will end this weekend of uh my kayak tournament uh next weekend no doubt i'll probably be on lake norman just trying trying to find a place uh to fish there be some sort of fishing and scouting you know if i find some fish i'll i'll be happy uh I've, there's 18 people fishing in this tournament right now i think today's the last day you could get in or yesterday it, it was 14 now it's 18 so they several got in it at the last minute so uh, one of the hard hitters that fishes these tournaments he, at norman i'm i'm assuming and he's already took third place and uh so far so you know i'd like to say i can get close to fifth or sixth again i'm seventh now since the uh, ped got in and started fishing and i'm figuring he's at norman most of them's fished norman the last two weekends i think if not three a lot of them been on norman the whole time uh one of the guys said that lake norman was completely on fire you know the, the, the bite was going on so hopefully i ain't missed out but you know i catch the tail end of it i hope But you know, that's just the way it is. We'll see, see what happens. And uh, sun glare, get all over the camera. You can't see nothing. But like I say, next weekend I'll be at Lake Norman. Nothing happens. And we'll see what happens there. Uh, a lot of guys saying they're hitting the shaky heads. And some saying they're hitting the uh, spinner baits and whatever around the docks is what I'm hearing so that's that's what I'm going to try uh, I did get a, a, a good bite on the shaky head today I missed it uh, wasn't expecting the bite and that's usually what happens and in and, and, and the wind too that's, that's what surprised me I get blown all over the place and 
I actually got the bite right at the kayak. So I wasn't expecting to get a bite that close to me. So I'm pretty sure it was a bass. It wasn't no bluegill bite. It's a pretty good thumb. So I think he actually had the worm in his mouth and let go. So at least I know I found a couple places I, I know of today that I can fish on road hills when these fronts start blowing in. It seems like the last I don't know. Three weekends we've had some pretty rough fronts to come in. And uh it's, it's messed me up. I mean it ain't messed some of these other guys up. One of the guys fishing Lake Norman said that the worst weather to battle to bite on Norman. So Maybe those fish are psychopath or something. I don't know. It's, you get bad weather here on road hills, and most of the time it's bad fishing. So, guys, appreciate you watching. If you like what you're seeing, you know, hit the subscribe button and uh, share some of the videos if you want to. I hadn't showed y'all guys any technique that I use. I mean, I just a most, you know, Texas rig, you know, tying on you, shake your heads just like you would, you know, there's, there's, there's plenty of information on YouTube how to fish those things. Uh, I'll get a, I can put up a video and show y'all how I'm hooking my worms and stuff. And, you know, there's, there's so many videos out there, so much information, you know, that you hear one person say this is the right way and another person say this is the right way and a lot of people are not doing it the right way, so and I heard one guy talk on the, one of the videos, he said, if you're catching fish with it and it works for you, that's what you need to go with. So that's that's usually what I do. I mean I you know don't fish like a professional, I do fish tournaments, you know. And uh but it's just for fun. For me it is. So guys, y'all stay tuned till next weekend and uh, we'll see what happens then on Lake Norman. If it doesn't happen, so that's where I'll be. Hopefully I'll catch some of the bigger fish and guys have been catching 16s and to 18 inch. That's, that's the only way I'm gonna get, you know, on up the board. Uh, I don't think Road Hiss is gonna get me there. Until next time, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hey, guys, welcome back. This is Jonathan Herman. This is my channel. And, uh, I told y'all guys I was going to be heading to Lake Norman. And uh, it's Friday, and that's where I'm heading. I'll go down here and see if I can't get on some of these fish these guys have been talking about. One guy, well, a couple of them said the lake was on fire, said the bite was good. So I'm going to see what's going on. Hopefully I can at least catch you know, two or three. I'll be happy with that. But, you know, uh, don't never know what's going to happen. It's rained some. Fronts come in. There's not no wind blowing right now here at the house, but that, you get on open water, and that, that changes 100%. So, uh, be fishing new water, never never fished around Stumpy Creek that I know of. I fish around, around the Long Island part. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully they'll be biting. And uh, I can put, you know, maybe four or five in the kayak, maybe measure some. Uh, one of the guys uh, told me Messaged him and asked him how he done the other day, and he said he caught 60. So I'm told that's not unusual when they're biting. So it's, that pre spawn zone right now, uh, probably close to spawning, you know, like Norman, I would say, probably within a week or so. I'm, I'm assuming they say that water gets around 56 degrees. That's, that's the key temperature. So Y'all stay tuned, and we'll uh, see you on the lake. Hopefully, I have a nice known. Appreciate y'all guys watching. Well, guys, second cast on Norman. 
Now I got a decent, pretty good, decent fish right here. Spot. I mean, right here at my feet. That's a good fish right there. I'm going to measure him, get him on the board, and keep going, I guess. Y'all guys keep watching. We'll turn this thing loose here in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm gonna let this fish go. A good 16 inch. Alright. We'll try to catch another one right here, hopefully. Pretty good fish, 16 inches for second cast in here. Guys, I have had a day today. I had a, this one's 13 and a quarter. I ain't gonna hold him out here long, but he's 13 and a quarter. But I had a 16 in the boat. Didn't get it. Pitcher took, screwing around with it. I've lost 10 fish today. So, I've, I've, fish is biting. I just cannot get them in the boat. Yes, I got this in the boat. I'm gonna try to fish them late i hope i can get some decent fish that 16 would have helped this would have helped but my goodness guys they're the lake's on fire with the fish they're they're tearing it up but just getting them in the boat that's that's the thing y'all i'll let this one go well guys i got numbers Three in the boat. Three in the kayak. Right there he is. Pretty good fish. Uh, try to match him to see what he is. Should, should be a good lamp. I'm trying to fish this hole. We might be a couple more in here. Get this thing measured right quick, guys. 